welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel, guys. We are back on another Monday. I am Kutlano. And I am Tandanani. Yeah, so guys, today we are talking about things we wish we knew before purchasing a home or buying a house. By, wait, yeah, we made it a home. purchasing, really? I wanted to be friends with you guys. Like, Kidding. I'm trying to pump you guys up for Monday. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> these are things we wish we knew before getting into the getting. Yeah. Of the property in the of house. The and property. And yeah. Because we are property owners. We have the land. <laughs> we also just want to welcome all our subscribers, Shout whether you are new, you. whether you're old, whether you're just watching because you don't want to subscribe, because I don't know, maybe they are boring. Shout out to you. But as well. shout but like out get a to you. A shout out. <laughs> want to get a full one? Click subscribe. I don't know what that Then you is. have like, you have a shot. You get a shot. Get the whole thing. Stop it. Click subscribe now. <laughs> Click. Now you have a shout out. The ghetto. <laughs> anyway, shout yeah. out to you. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to everyone, guys. Yeah. If you're seeing this, shout out to you. Um, yeah. So, uh, like I said, we're doing the things we wish we knew. Um, for some of these things, these are like because we did we did do um, quite a bit of research before getting into it um but for some of these will be like things we kind of underestimated um things we, we knew but we didn't like know the complete extent of mm -hmm. all those kind of things or so, the importance of those things. yeah exactly so it won't uh we're not necessarily saying we do that thing about anything but we just we just that, didn't know they have an impact yeah we yeah, just, we we just, just took that them thing. Nice. there's a need to um put these things out there mm. uh, who knows we might help a couple of people who are looking at something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We did a video a few months back of us actually buying the house. I don't yeah. remember what the the name of the video was, but we will link it there. <laughs> so you can maybe first start by watching that video. Stop this one, go watch, and then come back. Don't, don't, yeah, yeah. Watch both. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. You bet anyway, your, your <laughs> so we're going to start with the first one what was that <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah you guys so um first one um one of the things we we, we weren't like entirely sure of and i don't think most people can like get complete certainty until you are within the process um how much the bond would actually be mm -hmm. um there's there's this thing that people say that like it's a it's a um a rule of thumb but people say if like one percent of the value of the home will be around your bond amount what they what that means is like say for instance you're looking at a house of what a million mm. right a million you will most likely be looking at like a bond of ten thousand around that yeah right? so just an estimation just an estimate um it could be like a little bit more a little bit less depending on your own like current profiles and whatnot mm. so uh what from our side we actually didn't really know how much like how much like credit matters <laughs> mm. like how much credit your credit profile can sway your what you pay like i don't even think we we thought about like this is the value we want like i don't think we got there you mean, like you know sometimes you you would say i want a house of a value of a million rand mm. and and yeah. i don't think for us it was for us it was more of the location i think those were the things that we were looking at besides yeah. how much it actually cost we got to how much it costs after identifying where do we want to stay or you right. know those things yeah. so also that i think it's very important that you also know the value even if obviously it has to be um, your affordability type of a thing yeah. but also you need to have at least that mind to say i want a house of a value of however because as you were explaining you can continue to explain mm. or how does it then affect you when you get a house of what <laughs> so guys <laughs> It's Monday. it's Monday. <laughs> so um yeah, like um that the take take in consideration of what you just said. <laughs> Obviously when you like think of a house, uh one of the first things you think of is like okay uh, you picture it first obviously mm. you're like okay i want a house that's like this that's in this area and obviously you that that is like completely 
subjective mm. um someone will say no i want a house that's like far from everything someone will say i want a house that's like within the center of things someone it, it's completely up to you that mm. one that one live life do what you do now after figuring that out now you need to figure out like how much can i afford the income's the one percent thing mm. so you're like okay um say uh, i i want to spend um eight thousand on a bond mm. let's just put that put a number out there so that would mean your range would be somewhere between 700 to maybe 800,000 as well. Mm. Maybe. Um, don't, so um, obviously it's always better to like be on the safer side of things. Um, not, not like come by yourself. Because mm. as you will see as the video continues, this is not the only cost you will have. <laughs> it's very important to not come by yourself. Mm. So um, um, once you figure out, okay, I, I would like to spend this much on, on income, then I can then afford probably so times that. what i was saying makes sense now right mm. yeah no. it does <laughs> okay cool <laughs> so Thanks, are you are you done yeah okay so the second one is insurances so as much as we know that you obviously once you get a bond you need to have life cover life cover first thing because you need to ensure that um if something happens you know like it's paid off, it's paid off. Yeah. And, and other people don't have to stress about yeah, paying the bond. Not, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, obviously it's that. And then you need to cover the um house the structure, basically the house, the the bricks. Yeah, brick the and bricks. mortar. Imagine you must cover the bricks now. <laughs> then you must cover the content. So these are the things that we are we were not paying attention to, especially the content one, because the the structure i think normally it's it's already included right yeah, on the, they do that on the cost yeah yeah the installment basically sure. and life cover is something that we know um even though okay sharp we know life cover <laughs> but content inside the house that was not it's it's not a normal thing it's not we don't know these things guys like it's it's sad that it's not a normal thing yeah it's it's, it's very sad that it's not a normal thing it's, but yeah. Also, well, it, it's normal even, depending on who's around you. Yeah, but, and also, even if it is a normal thing, you don't think it's necessary until you need it. Facts. So you will feel facts. like, ah, like, Especially, it's again, again, going back to the same point, if you come as yourself, this will not be a thing for you. Yeah. Now you will end up having to, and then out, out of nowhere, you, your TV is like gone. Mm. I don't know how gone, but gone. Mm. Whether it's like ruined or gone. Mm. Now, obviously, you now need to fork out some money. And so imagine if now your installment is like, your, you afford it, but it's like, it's this like is where yeah. you end. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now there's other costs and you're just like, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's, there's that. So there's the, like different types of insurance. Um, you need to, all of these are must-haves, honestly. Mm. Honestly speaking. You need to have, uh, cover for for the bond like life cover you need to have uh insurance for the structure mm. um should whatever happen we are seeing rains guys Eloise. Eloise. was it Eloise? Oh. yeah no you're yeah. right <laughs> it's about to bend, yeah. cause things mm. cause and rivet and mm. and like recently we've seen a lot of, of uh, i don't know if, if they qualify as floods but a lot of water Let's put it that way. It's a lot of water. It's a lot of water. And you know water is yeah. Can damage it us everything. So yeah, um all of this is, is important and you never know what can happen when you mm -hmm. know, yeah. So all of these types of insurance are, are important. So another cost to consider is that too. Now, beyond that, um actually let's let's even let me not say beyond that. Uh you might need to have like cash before anything mm. before anything you might need because there are costs that you have to pay up front mm. right um these are costs like your your a deposit if you need to put up a deposit a hundred percent bond is a thing you guys it's very possible uh but most people don't want to do that for reasons that you would want to do you want to figure out for yourself but a hundred percent bond is a possibility but if you don't want to do that, you also you have, have to have option. upfront cash wherein you will fagger. This is not like cars where you say, hey, I'll have a balloon at the end. Like, <laughs> we're not playing that right now. It's like a deposit, you, you might need a sizable deposit because like guys, let's be real. Uh, 
you, you de to find a deposit, you are making sure that or you are moving, working towards, working towards having like a lower installment. Right? Yeah. So if you're gonna find a deposit, let it be like a sizable deposit. Yeah, it it's gonna something. have, it's gonna have an effect. Not one that will at least installment get to a lot. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So if 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 it's gonna at least say installment, yes, in in. In in the bigger scheme of things, you've paid less for your bond, mm -hmm. but was it really worth the twenty thousand, two hundred, whatever that you put forward? Twenty thousand. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say twenty thousand. Yeah. I figured. Let me not put out the money. <laughs> like, yeah. So you need to figure out like uh, it's it's not a cut and dry. Yes, it's a, it's a rule of thumb. Generally speaking, for uh, when you put something on it, it will get less. But you also need to figure out is there something that I have now worth putting forward. Or would a hundred percent be a, a thing? Yeah. Then you could yeah. use that money for other things that you will, because you need a lot. Mm, that's true. You need a lot. So yeah, there's upfront costs. If you are buying a house that already exists, there are transfer costs. Um, these are the there's like the transfer duty that you pay to. Sounds like a piece of everything, you guys. You buy something, <laughs> sounds like hey. I feel like we know. What's up? Right now. Yeah, like so. Sauce is part of your. I don't know budget or whatever. Yeah, ju just like they take. They just you they... don't you don't decide. Hey, Cyrus, I'm feeling good today. Here's something. No, they take like what? So there's that too. Um, obviously, all these costs that I'm saying will depend purely on the the value of the house and like that. So there's upfront costs as well that you need to consider. Mm -hmm. There's also lawyers' fees. Um, those are the worst, right? <laughs> The ghetto, so you can also yes. be expected to buy that if you want the bond to be registered under your name. Yes. So also it depends on the agency that you're working with. Others do take care of it, others don't. So yeah. you need to know that also upfront when you get into the conversation with the agency, at yeah. least so that and you can with, know. With the these agencies, a lot of times it's, it depends on whether the house is new or not. Mm. A lot of times, um, mm. it's not like cut and dried. There can be instances where it like differs, but speak to whoever you're buying from, mm. and they will, they should have, yeah, okay. plenty of information for you. All right, then we go to um, finishing the house or the inside of the house. So I, I, I think going back to the deposit thing. If your deposit is not as we explained before, if your deposit and this is just us, ne? Hmm. we are not saying we are this, not giving financial right? advice. We are right just now. saying this is a big, big disclaimer. We are not lawyers. We are not giving financial advice right now. We are not. This we is are not, this does not constitute any of these things. It's not. Yeah, we are <laughs> just, just telling you about us, our experience. Don't and do things what? and then be like, hey, uh, Mr. Magistrate, these people told me how to do it. <laughs> The no, hell out. no, no, <laughs> we are not, no, yeah, no. big this thing. So, anyway, based on what we were saying about the deposit thing, that if you if the deposit is not that much, or if what you were intending to use as deposit is not much, rather use it as um, because it's very helpful for you to have a startup cash when you just got a house because finisher is the ghetto. And that thing, yo, that thing is easy you know? to underestimate. Because also, oh. you, you might end up buying things for Fosomalang and then <laughs> in a short run, then you have to replace, they like keep on replacing. So imagine if you have like startup cash whereby you buy something that you know you want really. You, you, you're you not buying a small TV because you want to watch TV for now. You know, it, it's just added expenses because yeah. then you have to get TV again. So imagine if you can use such monies for... Um, furniture for whatever that you need inside the house so that is also a big consideration plus also you want to feel like this is your home like yeah um, even even if you get into a house that is well finished you want to have like um items or, or things that will say this is you mm -hmm. um, you want to mm -hmm. feel like this is your own yeah because even if you do get a, a finished house sometimes you want to like there's there's a there's a way how you want the interior to be inside your yes. house, right? Yes. So even if it is done, you would want to change other things. You would want to add other things because normally if a house is finished, isn't it like the most basic things? Yeah, no, normally you know? normally you get that. Yeah. Um, and unless well, you you can if if you buy like directly from someone, anything can be negotiated. Yes. Like anything. 
but normally you would get like the most basic of basic um, you might be able to live day to day on it but yeah, you might also need to find a couple of things so um, you also need to basically this point just says you need to figure out uh, what what can have the most effect you have cash available what do you want to do do you want to put it towards a deposit and if that how much of an effect will that have versus you putting it towards um, your you can you can if you can do both that's always great yeah that's that is awesome <laughs> don't but okay yeah, be count things be mindful of money um last point you guys we're not making this video long. last point um and this is your highly overlooked because you don't choose like how much this thing is mm. <laughs> rates taxes levies these yo guys <laughs> if you're gonna buy a property you need to um understand also how now uh sal sees you as a property owner right and they want a piece of everything we know this right so there's that mm. then your municipality is like hey but how are we gonna make things cool and nice if we get nothing mm. so <laughs> the entire society basically has a society the entire community has a society and then they pay my spell my spell is like okay we'll do things that need to be done mm. we'll, we'll rubbish uh, removal, sewage, blah 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 blah, and all those things. Now, if you're getting into the tunnels um, and, and or flats or whatever, normally you'll find that they have levies as well. Mm -hmm. um, you'll find that they have levies, and these levies go to I think it's a body corporate or whatever, and they essentially do the same thing that the municipality would do. Mm -hmm. um, well, they might do it at like a higher level. <laughs> Because right, they might house. do your your garden. <laughs> do they? Yeah, sometimes really? they do. Yeah. Oh, but but not not okay. It makes sense because it's a complex. Right? It's a complex. So, okay, yeah. So yeah. so they 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 want to like maintain a look, mm. obviously, right? Mm. So um yeah, and and then also there's like other things. There are many many other things to consider. Mm. Um like like for instance, where you're gonna buy. There's also things like if you go into a certain complexes, you can't. Have like homes on the wall mm -hmm. like you might have like restrictions in terms of what you can and can't do um freestanding there might be like safety concerns so there's there's a lot a lot that goes into that equipment. and safety concerns are a big thing it is. a big big thing that's actually a big um pull for the complex and all of these mm -hmm. um, um, that's true. type of living arrangements and the estate or whatever you may say so Security is a big, safety and security is a big part of it um, that you might not necessarily have or have at the same level when you go for a freestanding house. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is to be considered as well. So you might have to have some costs dedicated to that. To that too. specific So thing. yeah, you might need to be like, hey, security people, I want an alarm, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. So there's that too. So I, I just also feel like it goes back to um, the that one percent thing on on the bond or yeah. you knowing the value of your bond yeah. or how much you will afford because also things like levies and and your know, security mm. rates whatever those things are like ongoing costs it's not something yes. that you do once yes. so that was also has to be like included on your the projections yeah so that whenever you say like at least if you know the value of the house figure out how much in total can you afford to, to dedicate out, yeah. to this house including everything then that can actually help you see how much you can actually afford for your body so your 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 one percent remember we said it's a rule of thumb mm. it's not we are not guaranteeing you for it you go to a bank say i want the house of five hundred thousand they'll give you a five thousand bond this is not a guarantee this is highly highly subject to individual um, records and yeah. individual circumstances right but once you've figured that out use that as a base this is not to say i have five thousand left so i can get a house where i pay five thousand mm -hmm. no you now have new expenses because you have a house so now you're going to add onto this five thousand to say uh, uh, there's levies of a thousand two six point two there's rates of a three hundred now it's uh, six point five <laughs> there's uh, you know <laughs> okay 
so that like, there's a lot <laughs> that goes into this thing um once once you've figured all of that out um and, and generally you will find that like other costs you can um you can kind of estimate quite um like reasonably close like rates so, um, levies you get to know before you even go there so whatever you can know before jump it and figure out and then work on the base of your estimated bond costs mm -hmm. yeah again disclaimer guys we are not advisors here yeah we are I'm not, not you... like everything we say on this channel is based on our experiences like yes. we try as much as possible to at least let other people learn from the things that we could have known or the things that we yeah. you know could have experienced before but yeah basically we are not advising you to do I anything we are just ourselves. yeah at least giving light to people who might not have the light right okay that's <laughs> weird to say but yeah people who might have not been exposed to certain things yeah you know, that's life what is wrong with you <laughs> so why, why, why are you making it look like what did you just say because you doubted it so i'm firing more doubt anyway so yeah um, um we are not we're not giving any any um, legal binding advice mm. legally binding advice we're not trying to and there are people who will have a very different experience from ours as well yep and that is yeah that is also not to fine. say any one of us is lying <laughs> If you have any experiences that you um, have seen with purchasing your home or whatever, just let us know in the comment section. If you're thinking of buying a house, let us know in the comment section so that we can talk the spirit, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. And do it, girl. Have, do it, boy. Any other any other questions that we might <laughs> have seen? Any other issues we might have gone across? Yeah, maybe we might be able to help as well with yeah, that. Yeah, be like, hey, this is what... Remember, this is our experience in our story no advice because mm. you guys uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> next thing will be trendy uh -uh. <laughs> you know, you know, uh. anyway <laughs> thank you for watching you guys thank you for pulling up thank you for subscribing thank you for liking and commenting and okay follow us on under at underscore hangout with us this is on ig and we are out bye